And the dude at the Jack in the Box looks at me and he goes, Hey, I'm like, hey, what's up? He's like, hey, you know where the good, like, goth hangouts are here? I'm like, the good, the, 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 the what? And he goes, the goth hangouts. I'm like, Motherfucker, do I look goth to you? Love to all and welcome everybody. My name is Black Hollow and this is Would You Rather. It is so great to be back. It's been a while since I've been back. Like I said, I'm going to space these episodes out just a little bit more. I have an account made now. I've answered a lot of questions in my spare time. Um, the ones that I've already a uh, answered already. But I started seeing new ones. And when I started seeing good ones, that's when I stopped doing that. So what I'm going to do now is just play the game like normal. If I run into any of the old ones, it'll catalog my response. Is blah blah blah. So the game should become uh, v v very new from here on out. I think uh, all the questions should be um, uh, really fresh and whatnot. And we have given it a little bit of a break. So, would you rather discover the Loch Ness monster or discover Sasquatch? Theoretically, where I live, Sasquatch is more uh, easily accessible. The Loch Ness monster is in one place. Uh, Sasquatch has been known to be well not has been known, has been theorized, um, allegedly, to be all across the uh, the northern, um, you know, um, I, I would say, from, from, probably from the Rockies to the Great Lakes, I, I would say, in the Canada area, a anything that's uh, um, uh, forested, uh, and then down below into the United States, uh, in, the, in the Rockies, the Pacific Northwest, uh, probably some places over in Minnesota. So I think between the two, I probably want to discover Sasquatch. The Loch Ness Monster, to me, that, um, that, that could be a connection to, like, uh, um, you know, dinosaurs or something like that, but Sasquatch is a connection to possibly our past or or something that's hyper connected to us in a way so even though the Loch Ness monster is you know it's like a big monster and stuff and it's really cool I feel like Sasquatch would be a more monumental discovery because of the fact that it is a primate it is a homo um homo-esque uh ma not homo sapien obviously we're homo sapien you guys know what I'm trying to say would you rather be a rock star or be a movie star? Ah, uh, well, you know, here's the thing. Between the two of those, uh, there's connotations that go along with being a rock star. There's the, you know, the, the sex, drugs, rock, and roll, that whole thing. Um, I would love to be famous for music. I would absolutely love to be, like, a, a renowned musician. Um, being a movie star, though, I've always wanted to be an actor, and I'm not that bad at it. I, I'm... <laughs> The only things that I was ever really good at were creative things in my life. I was never good at other things. So both of these are right up my alley. But if I sincerely had to only pick between one or the other, it would be a rock star. Because it has to do with the music. Being a movie star, that's great. And being in a famous film, that's awesome. But to me, songs are so damn timeless. Bruce Springsteen once said, there comes this point where... No, no, it wasn't Bruce Springsteen. It was... Oh God, what's his name? Guitarist for the Eagles. Um, Joe Walsh. Uh, Joe Walsh once said uh, that there comes a point where the song that you've written just kind of uh, becomes the public's. It's not your song anymore. You wrote it, yeah, but it's not yours anymore. I feel like music transcends a little bit more than, than movies do, even though I picked the minority. Yeah, always, I'd be a rock star. Would you rather be Gonzo or be the cook? <laughs> I just knew that that number was going to skyrocket up. That, that just made it even better seeing that number shoot up. Let me know down below. Would you rather be Gonzo or would you rather be the Cookie Monster? Would you rather only listen to bagpipe music or only listen to banjo music? You know... It depends on what banjo music you're listening to. I could easily listen to Steve Martin's bluegrass band for like five days straight. So that's like, that's like five days off of the rest of my life. So th I'm already ahead of the game on the banjo music. Holy crap, people really don't like bagpipes. That's not to say that bagpipes, bagpipes can't be good. But the one thing about a bagpipe that you guys may not know is that they have what's called a drone note. A drone note is basically a note that just goes... But the whole entire time, no matter what you're playing over the top of anything, that note is on the bottom going Duh, and just singing that one pitch, that one singular pitch. That to me, that would get annoying. 
Would you rather be killed by Jason Friday the 13th or be killed by Ghostface? Scream. When I was a kid, Scream was the thing. Scream was the, the, the character to be for Halloween. Scream masks that bled down the face were just coming out. I remember walking through the mall one time and seeing this dude all dressed up as Ghostface uh, in the middle of the mall and he had one of those masks with the pump in his hand and he was just like pumping the blood down the front. It was the fucking gnarliest thing that I've ever seen in my life. It was like totally, totally life-changing when it came to Halloween. Holiday changing. Hallow Halloween holiday changing. You know what I mean. So I think in between the two would be Ghostface. Wow. People wanted to go with Jason. I think Friday the 13th is a little bit before and a little bit after Scream, I think. So that would explain, you know, a younger generation. I don't, I don't know. I just never got into Friday the 13th. I watched one of them, uh, but that was with my best friend. And it was just because he, he was watching it. And I, yeah, that was it. <laughs> Before going to school or work every day, would you rather eat a breakfast of only jelly beans or eat a breakfast of only hot... Wait, oh god, my fucking stomach, man. I was like, ah, that doesn't... That, oh, yeah. Between the two of them, I, you guys, I can pack sugar away like a motherfucker. And I am, I am the size of a bean pole. Like, I, I am sugarcane incarnate. I, yeah, I can handle this shit every morning. Hot wings... I fucking love hot wings, but first thing in the morning, dude, no, I, no, I do enough damage to my intestines and stomach by drinking coffee every day on an empty stomach. I'm not going to eat breakfast of hot wings with my coffee on an empty stomach. That's just asking for it. Would you rather become a Pokemon trainer or attend Hogwarts? I, I may have answered this one before, but I, I don't know. I will do it again. I, who cares? Uh, I, <laughs> Between the two of them, you guys, these were the things when I was a kid. Like, I know Pokemon Go is out right now, and I know I have some younger viewers, like, people that are under, like, 15. Um, but for me, Pokemon, like, that was great. I did the trading cards. I did that in uh, in, in uh, grade school, and I had the Game Boy, and, you know, I did, I did the whole... I did, I did everything. I, ca I caught almost all... Never got a Charizard. Fucking never needed him, though. Fucking never needed Charizard. Never needed him. Dominated without him. Um, but I think I would want to attend Hogwarts. Yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting split between the two. See, the Pokemon thing, like, it's great. But Hogwarts? Magic? Sorcery? Oh, man. That would be life, you guys. That would be life. Would you rather meet PewDiePie or meet Vanoss? You know... I never really got into Vanoss, and I don't know why, because his stuff is technically right up my alley in terms of how my commentary is concerned, including H2O Delirious, um, and the fact that I don't have a face cam, and my shitty mic quality. <laughs> um, but frankly, between the two of them, I got a lot of respect for PewDiePie as a YouTuber. I really do. He constantly calls the website out on all the bullshit, um, he, and, and he's, very, uh, he's very active, and he cares about the website, and, and sometimes he really does recognize... Sometimes he can be the tail trying to wag the dog, if you know what I mean. Like, some of the problems on YouTube are just the too rampant. But he still will try to put his two cents in somehow in a, in a tweet or in a title or in a video or something like that. So, yeah, I'd really rather meet PewDiePie. Vanoss, much respect to what he does and everything like that. I think it's more on par with what I do. I don't think I, I try to be like PewDiePie in any way. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I really like PewDiePie a lot. Really like PewDiePie. Would you rather be emo or be gothic? Okay, alrighty, so the, <laughs> that reminds me of this one time. I was driving through Jag in the Box, okay? And I pull up, I'm literally just wearing like a brown shirt and a necklace. And the dude at the Jack in the Box looks at me and he goes, Hey, I'm like, hey, what's up? He's like, hey, you know where the good like goth hangouts are here? I'm like, the good, the good, the good, the good, the good, the, good, the what? And he goes, the goth hangouts. I'm like, Motherfucker, do I look goth to you? And I know that you guys don't know what I look like, but damn it, even then, I did not look goth. I didn't look goth. It was the weirdest fucking thing. It was a brown affliction shirt. I think I got it at Buckle. Like, it was, it was as far from goth as goth probably could be. But I was emo in high school, so. <laughs> I would, I'd rather be emo. Emo, I think, was more from my generation. I think gothic is starting to become, like, the new... The, the new top dog with hipster or whatever, but I mean th things change so rapidly you guys It's pfft. Be you just do you be you whatever you like whatever you want to wear and with that being said Just a piece of advice you guys 
your friends like that's really who who you're gonna who you're gonna end up like mimicking and becoming most like in my opinion if you hang out with a bunch of gothic people you're, you're gonna start dressing gothic if you hang out with a bunch of emo people you're gonna start dressing emo and i don't mean to say emo people or gothic people people who stylize uh in an in an emo sense uh, in, in terms of like it being a style not you know emotional or whatever or gothic as a style um or even similar mindsets to you know how your friends think it just starts to rub off on you so who gives a fuck about style? Who gives a fuck about clicks? Do you, man, and best believe, once you get out of school, none of it fucking matters anymore. Would you rather have no hands or have a naked fat guy stalking you at all times? What happens if I call the cops on him? 72% of... <laughs> What's the thing say? You may not get any sort of replacement hands and the fat guy is always around. You can't hide or get rid of him. But what if I call the cops? It's just like GTA, this persistent blip that just keeps coming up on the map. Like, fucking no! I've reloaded four times and you're still here! Oh man, that would be crazy. Would you rather give up Christmas or give up your birthday? See, this is what I'm talking about, about the questions getting good now. <laughs> um, oh shit. Okay, um, my birthday, I never really do anything crazy for it. And, uh, and, and this year probably isn't going to be any different. But, um, I think between the two of them, Christmas and New Year's really matter the most to me. My birthday is just a number. It's like the day I was born on. Um, and it doesn't matter very much. I mean, any of my friends would tell you that. I really don't give a shit about my birthday. I don't. I just don't. Um, so I think between the two of them, probably give up, probably give up my birthday. Yeah. Wow. See, for me, my birthday is about me. Christmas is about everybody. You get the same joy out of Christmas, except everybody gets to reciprocate that joy all at the same time. You know, like, you're just as happy as grandma is, or, you know, uncle's just as happy as your cousins are, that kind of shit. On your birthday, it's all about you. It's all about, you know, you getting gifts. Christmas, that, that's, that's a little bit more, um, that's a little bit more, um, unifying, I think. And even, even if it's a rough season, even if you have a bad experience, I think down at the heart of it all, I believe that the reason why people have bad experiences is because they have good intentions, because they want things to go right, or because they got offended that, um, you know, something wasn't, wasn't being treated with care, or something stupid like that. Or then there's just the National Lampoon families that bring up, you know, fights from 20 years ago. <laughs> but either way, either way, still, I think Christmas would be uh, the better option to keep around. For the rest of your life, would you rather? Live in a library where books are your only form of it. Oh, fucking yes, please. Or live in a prison cell where you have access to any channel on TV. How many fucking times have you been watching TV and bitched about how there was nothing on? Give me books any old day, man. Give me books any old day. God. You know, you, Ty Lopez, he got that shit from me. I'm the read a book a day guy. He took that from me. That's right, Ty Lopez. That's right. You don't, you don't think I... You don't think I noticed? I'd like my Lamborghini back too, please. And um, maybe like, you know, a couple hundred bucks. Like, not more than that. Not, but you can, you can keep the rest because that's probably yours. But Lamborghini, a couple hundred bucks. Maybe, maybe like a Rolex. I uh, had Timex, Timex. Knock off, knock off Rolex. Would you rather have the first dibs every time or have first dibs every time or always have the last laugh? Ah. You know, I never really cared about being first in line. Like, I never really did. Having first dibs? Eh. Having the last laugh, though. See, here's the thing, you guys. People remember the beginning and the end, but they remember the end more than they remember the beginning. They will always forget the middle. That's a rule of thumb for a performance. Like, they'll, they'll recall it, but the impression that they get is from the first chunk and the last chunk. And I've always believed that the last chunk is the most powerful because that, that, impowerful, the most important and powerful. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I feel like I'd always want to have the last lap because I, I'd want to leave any situation um, being the final thought of that situation. And if it's the last lap, then I wasn't being made fool of, so that's good too. Would you rather have free tickets to the Super Bowl for life 
or get $20,000 to never watch NFL games again. I don't, you know, okay, I love, I, I, I like football. I enjoy football. I love watching it. Um, I love the family aspect to it. I love getting into sports uh, every year and changing my opinions of teams by who does well. I love following players above following teams. Uh, and a lot of that stemmed from the fact that I was in pep band in high school. I played for basketball games, for volleyball games, for football games, for um, all kinds of stuff. Like, I was all over the place. For eight years, I was in a pep band of some form from high school to college. Um, And I don't know if I'd want to give up that aspect of the social, like, side of things. But this is specifying right here. Get $20,000 to never watch NFL games again. I can still go watch college ball. I can still go watch high school football. I can still go watch, like, you know, a local match. I can still watch rugby. I can still watch all kinds of other things. Have free tickets to the Super Bowl for the rest of my life. I... (laughs) I would sell them every year and yet, oh god, I'd sell them every year and I'd fucking, I'd make bank. I would make $20,000 a year. Fuck all you guys, 71, get $20,000. I'm selling the tickets, bitches. I'm selling the tickets. Which wizard would you rather be? Would you rather be Gandalf or Dumbledore? Um, oh god, that's a tough one. That's a tough one, especially knowing the stories of both of those, which I won't go into depth of because there's obviously somebody out there that hasn't seen it. I actually haven't seen Lord of the Rings all the way through. I think I've only seen like the first one. Um, but uh, but I do know like I do know the premise about the about the books and the story and whatnot. Um, I think I have to tie back into my Harry Potter thing earlier. I think, yeah, I think I have to tie back into the Harry Potter. I gotta be Dumbledore. Yeah, I gotta be Dumbledore. Gandalf, you're pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. You get If it was between Dumbledore and Magneto, oh, oh, I'd pick Magneto. Yeah, I'd pick Magneto. So, you know, I, st- I still got love for you, dude. I still got love for you. But, um, yeah, I have to go with Dumbledore on that one. And I think that's the one we're gonna leave it off on, guys. You let me know down in the comments below. Would you rather be Gandalf or would you rather be Dumbledore? Because I feel like that that taps into some of the things that you may have uh, liked as a child. Um, You guys probably grew up with Lord of the Rings being released in theaters when you were young. I wasn't. I was was a teenager. I was like, I was like, that's cool. And you guys were probably like, oh my god! And your brains melted out of your tiny feeble ears and whatnot. But no, please let me know down below. Would you rather be Gandalf or would you rather be Dumbledore? Because uh, that's a good one. I like the questions this time, guys. I hope you enjoyed them, too. This is a good idea that I made an account. And uh, once again, we're going to space the episodes out. Um, but uh, I will definitely be bringing this back for uh, episode, what would it be, 13 now? Something like that? Yeah. All righty. So, friends, if you enjoy what you see, and only if, leave a little love in the comment section or leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the rest of whatever the hell comes next. And as usual, enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you guys again. <laughs>